Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. And at 648, we are continuing to turn the temperature dial down outside. We are. It's very gradual. It's not like a big cold snap that's coming in. We'll, I'm sure, have plenty of those as we move Ease along. Into it. Yes, we're sort of easing into a more seasonable pattern uh, early this morning. And you can kind of see that here on the temperature map, right? If you look along the Canadian border, more 40 starting to show up and some of that cooler air coming into the North Country, too. Hanging on to some mid 50s, though, from Middlebury to uh, Brookfield into parts of eastern Vermont and farther to the south. Most of us still in the 50s, in fact, close to 60 from Lebanon to Rutland into Brattleboro too. So here's how it shakes out today. We start off with some clouds, maybe a passing sprinkle in northern areas, and we'll mix in more sun as the afternoon goes on. We should end the day with a mostly clear sky, but as we know this time of year, a clear sky tends to lead to a cold night, and we are expecting lows to drop to the 30s once again for the first time in a few days here. The broad view of Storm Tracker is quiet. We are awaiting the rest of this uh, cooler push of air to come in. On the leading edge, we are noticing a couple of very light rain showers. You can sort of see this broken line that's come through Charlotte, maybe just outside of Montpelier. But if we just check out St. Albans, which had a few showers a little while ago, See, it barely left some wetness on the road, so I really don't think this will slow you down. Just if you're stepping out the door, I don't want you to be surprised by a quick little shower coming through this morning. Here's lunchtime on Futurecast. The sun's starting to come out in the Champlain Valley across northern New York, too. And it may take a while for central and southern Vermont to break out of the clouds today. I think it happens for just about everybody by sunset tonight. And then we stay mostly clear as we think about early tomorrow morning. Now tomorrow we have another push of cool air that comes through. This one though has a, a little more oomph to it. It mixes up the atmosphere a bit more. So we are expecting some passing showers, maybe some mountain snow showers through the day tomorrow. It'll be one of those situations where, you know, it's dry and sunny for one minute and then a quick downpour comes through. Then 10 minutes later, it's back to sunshine. I think we'll sort of be in and out of those showers for a lot of tomorrow. It also turns gusty out of the northwest. We are expecting wind gusts anywhere between 20 and 30 miles per hour. That will certainly add an extra chill to the air tomorrow, and it looks like the wind stays pretty noticeable through most of the day Saturday. And that I think will be more notable because temperatures are only in the 40s that day. We could be looking at wind chills in the 30s despite the sunshine to kick off the weekend. We will warm up a bit Sunday into Monday. I think most of Sunday will be dry, but late in the day some showers will move through and it looks like the showers will be more widespread on Monday. That is Veterans Day. Most of next week looking seasonable too. highs in the 40s and 50s.